Okay, today we're going to talk about how to set up a BeamNP server, where to get the files, how to do port forwarding, how to set up the thing, and how to put mods in the server itself. Now, if you've watched my previous video on how to make a BeamNP server, it's been unlisted for a little while now, and that's for one big reason. The process is basically the same, except if you have done this in the past, you don't need to have a Patreon subscription, so if you've done that, you can go ahead and remove that. That only gives certain benefits, as in being able to run more servers. To get this file, the first thing you're going to need to do is open up the BeamMP website, BeamMP.com, then download the server. Then in your mods folder, for me, this is in users, film 86 app data, local BeamNG drive, 027 mods. Alternatively, when launching BeamNG, you can go manage user files, then open an explorer and open up mods. In here, create a new folder. I usually go by a nomenclature of BeamMP server, and then whichever version I'm up to. Open up that file that you downloaded, open up the Windows one if you're doing Windows, and drag this in. Then you're going to run this once, it's going to do a few things, and then it's going to close. Eventually. All right, this isn't closing. It says it was meant to close in 10 seconds, it didn't. We can close it ourselves. Now, we're gonna need to do a few little tricky things. This is where port forwarding comes into play, and this is a little bit tricky. Not every internet plan that everybody has has port forwarding as an option. Weird, here in Australia, just every plan comes with it. Even if you do have it, it's very different for every modem. I personally have an Archer VR1600V. I would suggest searching how to do this yourself for your own modem if you don't have the same one as I do. But for me, I would go NAT forwarding, then I would go into virtual servers. We're going to add a new one for this. This doesn't particularly matter. This you'll have in whatever you want to call it. External port is the port that's going to be in BeamMP itself. If you choose a different port number, this is the number that'll end up in here. So you would replace that. The only reason why you do this is if the port was say used by something else, or potentially if you're running multiple servers, you may want to give them multiple different things there so then they don't try to use the same port all the time. Then you're going to grab your internal IP address. So Windows key, CMD. In here, the line to write is IP config. Hit enter, then grab the IPv4 address and you would put that in here. The internal port, I usually make the same as the external port. I really don't know what the difference is. Then under here, all, all have the both TCP and UDP selected. Now, if you're able to follow that, that is all the information you need. Now, inside of the server config tmol, which is where you put all your information, one of the things it's going to ask for is an auth key. And you're gonna need two things for this. One, open up this website, it'll be linked in the description, then join the Discord, then go to Keymaster, then under keys. Now, usually you can't have multiple keys or there's a limit on how many keys you can have, but because I am on the Patreon, I get op extra options. So what you'll do is you'll click here, you'll create a server name. This is gonna be test server three, hit create on that. And that's all you need to do, apparently. Then this hidden number, which I'm not going to show you, we're going to copy that. And then here where the auth key is, I'm going to also hide that, but I'm going to paste that in there. Then you've got all your settings. If you've changed your port number, this is where your port will go. You can set up to log chat. You can have a debug thing. You can set this to private, true or false. So if it's private, you can only connect via the IP address through the direct connect. Or if that's set to false, then you can have it listed on the public list of servers. Then you have max cars, which is the amount of cars each person could spawn. Max players is how many players can join. In here is what you'll choose for which map. Then your description, if you have this set to public and your resources will be under your resources folder. So how to do map choice. If you go to your Steam library, Steam apps, where have you got it downloaded? For me, I've got uh, BeamNG downloaded on a separate drive under common, BeamNG drive, content, then levels. You've got all of the default maps in here. Let's say Italy is the one we want to choose. You'll open it up, you'll go into levels, and then this name here is what you'll copy. Then back over here, you'll put that in there. Then that'll open up that map. But what if you want to run mod maps and whatnot? Well, that's a little bit different. You'll want to run your server again, make sure that access is allowed. If you are having problems, go onto their Discord and ask them for help. I am not a dev for this. Then you'll close that off, go onto resources, and you'll have a client folder. And in here is where you'll put the mods. Not in server, in client. For instance, I'm going to grab the Monaco map, so I'm going to hit Control-X on that. Then in this client folder, we're going to paste that in there, open this up, 
open up levels, and then this. This is the name we're going to grab. We're going to go Control C on that. Then under the server config tmol, we're going to paste that in there. Then save that. And if, say, for instance, you want some cars as well, I'm going to bring in one of my more recent vehicles, like the Chaprel. Going to cut that. Then we're going to put that in the client folder as well. Doesn't matter. You can list up as much as you want. Just remember that it's going to be downloading from wherever you're running the server. Say, for instance, your computer. Then you're going to run this. Then run the BeamMP launcher. This is important. You don't run it from BeamNG. It is the BeamMP launcher. Then under multiplayer, if you just want to test your own thing, you'll go in here, you'll put your own IP address in here, or you can leave it that as a loop back if you wanted to download super quick. Then hit connect, then realize that you've done something wrong. Mm, this is a bad mod. All right, let's not use this mod. So close this off, close this off. We're going to move this back to the mods folder. And instead, we're going to grab something from here. We're instead going to grab Bathurst, put that in the client's folder. I'm going to grab the name as required quiet control c put that in here save that launch the server again launch bmmp again and as you can see it is now properly loading here's a few little tips if it hangs on downloading stuff then sometimes you may just need to tell that person or yourself whoever it is to hit cancel on the join and then try to join again sometimes it does hang for people and here you are, you've got your perfect server. I'm gonna go open up the vehicle spawn menu and you can see that we have our vehicle in here. And that's how to run a server. Now, here's a little bit of a trick. If you don't have like a massive bandwidth on your thing and you don't want everyone downloading it from your computer and you want it to be just a little bit faster. Well, here's a bit of a trick. First of all, you're gonna want to do is go to your BMP launcher, wherever it is, and you're going to want to open file location. Then open file location again. And then you've got this resources folder. And in here is where it downloads the mods, unless the mods are already here. So what you could do is for the mods that are in this server, you can upload them to say Google Drive or something, tell them to download them from there, and then tell them to put them into here. That way they don't need to download. It'll just check if it's here. It'll do a bit of a verification to check a few things. It may take a minute and then it'll join without having to properly actually download, saving you bandwidth and time. Now, if you have liked this video, please go ahead, like the video and maybe check out my other stuff. And if you like that, consider subscribing. But for now, catch you all next time. Goodbye.